Welcome to the channel Technotracks. In this video, we are showing how to make an online presentation slide by using the online latex editor. That is generally we are using the PowerPoint for creating the presentation slides. Instead of that, we have used the latex platform for creating the presentation slide. Then we are going to the video how to make presentation slides in online platform. That is here I am using the latex editor that is overlay platform is used for creating the presentation slide. For that, first you have log into the Overleaf account by using your Google account. That is type the Overleaf in the search window. And then I am going to the login option. We have seen the login with the Google. By login with the Google, we have login to the Overleaf platform. That is after logging to the platform, we have seen a window like that. In this, uh, we have chosen the new project section. In the new project, uh, different uh, that is book uh, formal letters and different templates are available. In that template, we have chosen the presentation template here. That is by selecting the presentation templates, we have seen different types of template platform. That is uh, in this, we have chosen your required template. Here I am choosing the this template. That is by selecting the template, it is open using the whole platform by simply clicking the open as template. So uh, by open as template, we have seen a code corresponding to that file. This is the code that is this portion shows the corresponding code and the corresponding PDF file is created in this section. That is this is the PDF file for this code. So after that, we have edit the correction using your required uh, requirement. That is in this a uh, different purpose is created. So instead of that, if we have use your requirement, I am changing each and every time that is I am editing the file here at the university of uh, and the other university is gone so making it to our university we can simply changing it this way that is by this is the command for adding the name of the university so I am simply changing it to oh, I am giving it as university of India so after giving and recambing we have seen that the changes is occurred to the PDF file that is uh, it become university of India that is like that if we have add your corresponding name so i am here simply giving the name of channel technotrides so you can add your name and your uh, institution name anything here so in this portion i am adding the technotrides so instead of that your name portion we have create the technotrides here also the title can be changed it has both uh, main title and the subtitle uh, that is this is the title portion I am changing it to the uh, new thing that is I am changing my title to a, another way of YouTube you can change your uh, required name in that pur purpose that is main title can be changed here I am changing it to YouTube also there is a subtitle if there uh, if you don't want the subtitle platform you can simply delete there is I am here deleting the subtitle platform and recomparing So we can simply say that this is a simple platform for uh, our required percentage slides. This figure is not required so I am remo removing that figure. If we are interested to adding a figure in the uh, that platform, first we have to make a figure in that size and then you are uploading and then commanding to that figure. Here the photo.png is changed to your required file, you can add the figure. Next I will uh, show you how to add a figure in the platform. So here I am don't require a figure so I am simply removing that figure. So after that I am uh, recompiling the overall file, the corresponding changes are made in the PDF. Uh, that is we can see, so this is the simple platform. Then going to the next section, that is uh, these are the table of contents. In this uh, introduction, uh, literature methods and results are available. So if we are interested to adding a new section in that, we are simply using the command section. That is I am adding a section after the introduction. That is uh, instead of literature review, I am adding a new section after introduction that is this is the end portion of frame we are using each paper as a frame so the begin frame and the end frame command is used for creating that paper so after the end frame we have i am adding a section that is uh, similarly by using the command bar section we have add the corresponding section here for that section i am adding uh, it as vehicle so by recompiling we have uh, i am recompiling we have seen that there is a new section is added here that is new section is added here
so this is the section here i am creating that is a new vehicle i am here adding the vehicle section so if you are trying to add a content in the vehicle section i am uh, using the command begin frame that is i am using a uh, paper for that purpose i am using the begin frame section so in the begin section and the end begin frame and end frame is here also we can add the uh, corresponding uh, frame title here i am using the uh, figure title as ev so this is the section portion and it is also added here table of contents and then after the vehicle we are adding the uh, frame so in this frame different contents can be added so uh, then we are showing how to add an, a figure in that frame so for that purpose i am using the begin that is begin figure that is begin figure command is used for creating the figure in that section for that purpose i am first adding the figure in this section for that i am uh, use a jpg or other file so here i am uh, sorry here i am using a and that is i am using an uh, downloaded file if you using here that is i am downloading this file that is i am downloading this file uh, to my download tabs and uh, then we are going to the, the section that is upload uh, there is a i am taking the download uh, this figure is i am adding and i am changing the name to our required name that is i am giving it as a car and then adding that is car is added here so for adding the figure that is the figure is uh, come to this portion and then go into the main text and then adding the command for the uh, i am adding the car.jpg it is a jpg file so i am adding the car.jpg so this file is added to our document by using this command that is this is the car so this uh, size become huge so it can be reduced by using the command so if you are using scale or uh, height or width is used for that purpose that is i am giving don't centimeter also you can add the corresponding width required for your purpose that is i am adding a 5 centimeter and then uh, recompiling we have seen that the size of the car is reduced so this is a way of adding the figure to your document so this is a it does not require that much of height so i am reducing that height to a simpler so uh, this is the uh, how to add this is how to we are adding the figure to your document that is instead of the caption we have had your uh, caption here i am adding a coda as my caption and if for calling purpose we have used the label that is instead of here i am using a label as four four is used for calling my file uh, my car that is i am using that label for the calling that is i will show you how to call that in figure that is I am using the reference command for calling the figure. That is reference four is used for uh, representing the car. That is figure uh, four represents a car. So this is the text uh, for representing and calling that figure. So then uh, recompiling, I will show how it works here. That is uh, the figure one. That is instead of ref reference four, uh, it can be. I am using a frame four here. that is begin frame and instead of that i am using here that is here the end frame that is there is a miss much uh, end frame is added here that is end frame can be added so this is a way of giving a, a calling of uh, that referred figure 
if you are you uh, referring a figure and it is uh, used in a text by using this way that is a rough command is used for calling that figure then i then i will show how to add an uh, itemize uh, your categories that is in this frame i am adding an uh, command for itemize that is for that i am using the command begin and that is itemize so here we have shown that you begin item is, is here we have uh, chosen this bar item and then represent the different uh, items that is i am adding a uh, car name here that it, it is going to the file here that is as first item that is uh, first item and then uh, i am adding another item that is uh, other car name is i am added here so uh, this way we can add uh, the different items here so this is a way of adding items in uh, this, uh, this slide section. So this way you can add the items and also you can add the figure here. Then uh, we are going to add another section like uh, I am adding the portion of figure and the table. Then we have go to the how to add a table in uh, that section. For that I am adding another frame. Here I am continuing with the begin frame section. Also, the frame date I am not giving the frame details. Then, bar I am using the begin command and then I am choosing the tabular. Here I am using a two column that is C and C represent a two plow column. So, then I am comparing that uh, I am creating a table in this, this section. That is here I am adding. That is, uh, this is a way of uh, creating a table in this section. For closing that table, I am using that. Here I am using. So by this way, we can add a table here. Also for completing, I am adding another closing here. So this is how adding the. Uh, table here in a uh, platform and I am uh, adding the figure and uh, how to add a section and uh, then I will show how to add a frame in, in part so like this I am uh, adding instead of that uh, this item that is in this item I am adding another item that is using the command begin item is I am adding another uh, that is that is the item and then we have itemized it to a newer level lower level so this is a way of itemizing it to another so uh, these are the ways of uh, adding and figure and uh, also adding the commands for table and uh, how to itemize each and every uh, required file so this is a way of creating your required uh, percentage slides so in, in this way we can add every uh, required uh, command using the file so this is the complete way of representing and adding a figure in the software.